Hi Aquarius, this week we have got Venus, our planet of love, money, beauty, abundance, moving into Taurus, which is actually ruled by Venus. So this is a very Venusian week, and the next few weeks coming, where we are focused on our relationships, on money, on groundedness, we want to be in nature more, we want to be more present. Uh, if you think about Taurus ruling the senses, um, then our senses are going to be activated more this week. So we might feel like we want more food or different food, better food, you know, lux something luxurious and tasty. You know, maybe we want to be touchy, touchy-feely more with our partner. Uh, maybe we want to, um, you know, be a little bit more connected to our environment, you know. So more present, more here um, and slower, actually. The rhythm is changing. So, you know, in Aries, we are very much focused on like getting ahead. Whereas in Taurus, we're very much focused about keeping our pace. So how can I keep my pace so that I have stamina to continue? Um, this is more about like uh, allowing yourself moments of quiet, moments of stillness, you know, moments of pleasure and peace rather than always racing to the next thing. So let's see what the cards have to add to that. Okay, we've got the Queen of Swords and the Hermit. So the Hermit represents um, a time when we need a little bit of uh, our own energy so that we can hear our own guidance, you know. If we've been in other people's company a lot, then this is a sign that we need a little bit of solo time just to kind of process and to hear our own guidance, to kind of reconnect to our own inner um, higher self and you know our own inner energy so with the queen of swords this is like um, actually this is a very good strategy for you this is um, going to be a, a very good um, use of your planning and your energy if you can plan in some alone time this week this is going to really help you so guys drop me a comment if it resonated otherwise subscribe and i will see you next week